This video is example number seven. It is the last example. And we're going to be focusing on something that is rarely trained in other disciplines, but within parkour, we heavily rely on this type of training. And that is psychological and fear-based training. The idea behind the psychological type training is that we are going to be trying to push our boundaries and push our limits and try to investigate and discover where our boundaries lie. To do that, we will put ourselves into a situation that potentially we don't like. This does not mean it has to be risky or dangerous. It just means that we have an element of fear in our heads that we're worried about what we're going to do. In this example, something that you can do is 300 singles. This means that you have to do 300 repetitions. The volume is ridiculous, but you can take your time with it. It just takes a long period of time and it's gonna push you to see if you are able to do that amount of volume. You can do them in singles or doubles or whatever you want, but you have to reach a ludicrously a high number that you wouldn't have thought possible. In this way, we are challenging what we think. We are challenging ourselves to expand what we believe we are able to do. If you think 300 sounds like something quite easy, then just up it. You could go to a thousand, try and do a thousand in a day and see if that is something that is going to actually make you think twice about whether you wanna do it and why you are thinking that this is gonna be hard. It's something that you wanna actually analyze. So psychologically putting something into your training that is a little bit more scary and it makes you kind of apprehensive to start the training and want to go out and do it, you have to internalize and ask yourself, why is this making me scared? Why do I not like the idea of this? And you've got to answer it honestly to yourself and go, well, is it something that I am able to do or not? And until you actually give it a go, which is the beauty of parkour, you will never know whether you are gonna be able to do it or not. In a second example for this, it does not have to be repetitions. If, for instance, you're the type of person that is a little bit more shy, what you could do is to give yourself that kind of fear and apprehension is go and do your training in public. Go and do your training somewhere where actually you're having to kind of go out of your comfort zone and you're a little bit apprehensive of training in the public. And to be honest, many people are at the beginning, especially in parkour and movement training, they're a little bit, little bit worried about being judged from other people and the public. And it, especially if they're shy, it is a little bit unnerving to try to get your training going. But the more you do it, the more you're going to become comfortable with it. And you have to try to get past that fear. Another way to incorporate fear is to give yourself consequences. So if you are unable to complete something, say you're doing your normal training of three sets of five repetitions, you could say, actually, if I don't manage to hit the 15 reps this to, in this session, you have the consequence of doing something else, okay? A, a different type of exercise, something that you don't particularly want to do or you know that is going to be hard to do after the training. So for instance, if you don't hit the 15, you now have to do 50 single repetitions. Again, it gives a consequence and a goal for you to able to do the training. Another way to psychologically keep yourself on your toes is to do your normal program on your own if you're used to groups and classes and similarly the other way around. So if you're usually on your own, potentially try and do it with a group and see how that gets on. So psychological based training is something that is a lot more prominent in parkour and we very rarely see it in other disciplines, but it has so many benefits. Trying to do something that actually you're a bit fearful of is going to build really, really well your mental strength and your grit to try and complete something. It also is going to give you this love of challenge and that's something that everybody within parkour is going to uh, enjoy and they will talk about 
is the fact that parkour is all about challenge. And if you're not challenging yourself, if you are not going to try and keep pushing it little bit by little bit, you're not going to grow and you're not going to further your progress or your skill or your strength. Lastly, the best point of all is this type of psychological training is going to teach you more about yourself. It is going to show you hard facts of things you are able to do, the limits that you are able to go to. You're able to do those 300 singles. You're able to do that thousand singles. Whatever it is, it means that you've risen to that challenge and you now know more about what you are capable of doing.